Hey, Shad here with Speed Attic Cycles. In this video, we're gonna check out O'Neill's Rider Boot. The Rider Boot comes in men's, women's, and youth sizes, and it's a really killer value. It's right around 100 bucks, and this is a crowded market. You know, there's a lot of different companies that make an inexpensive boot like this, but none of them I've tried have been this comfortable. I've been wearing around this one around the office just to get an idea, because usually it doesn't take long to figure out if it's binding or it's, you know, how it fits. I found it to fit true to size, and you know actually pretty wide i have a kind of a wide foot size 13 and this thing gave me more room than um, the mx boots i typically wear a lot of times boots will kind of run narrow and that's no good after a couple hours riding so you know other things that make this better than a lot of the other boots in this price range are these flex panels in here i was flexing this and you know doing some some bends to get an idea because a lot of cheaper boots will bind and, and kind of pinch you either in the ankle or in the top of the foot. They've done a good job of not only adding extra padding inside the boot, but also having these flex panels so that the way the material bends, it doesn't bend in on you and really cram you. Um, on the inside, it's actually, I don't know if you guys can see this, it's kind of a neoprene uh, inside, which is nice and soft compared to other boots in this price range that are kind of raw leather and will chew you up. It I was blown away by how comfortable this boot was. Not only the sole and the padding, the sole, but all around the foot. It's, it's really a lot more plush than other boots I've tried in this price range. It's got solid buckles. Again, um, usually on a boot around 100 bucks, you don't get a buckle like this. It's got a pin style uh, buckle system that's less likely to break, I think. And it's got a real positive snap to it. It's also uh, removable, replaceable. So if you do happen to bust one of these, you can get replacements. Typical, you know, Velcro at the top, buckles all the way down. Again, uh, doesn't bind, very soft, very supple uh, inside, and um, it's very walkable. One of the things that makes uh, boots in this price point kind of rough sometimes are the stamp soles. When you go up in price range, what you, what you get is a smooth molded sole. This has a stamp sole, and a lot of times those can kind of be hard and, and not very flexible. This one, it's got a great feel to it. I would definitely own a set of these. Uh, again, it's the O'Neill Rider boot. Thanks for watching everybody and ride safe.